In this assignment, we will create a new project, import our assets, save our main scene, and set up the basic foundations for our game. Let's begin by creating a brand new project. We can do this by selecting File, New Project. This opens the Project Wizard. In the Project Wizard, we can open an existing project or create a new one. We will be creating a new project. First, we need to set a location for our new project. We can do this by selecting the Set button, which brings up a Save As dialog box. I'm going to put this new project on my desktop. I will call it Space Shooter. Save this and return to the wizard. Now, if we look at the desktop, we will see that no files have been created. We have simply set the path to the location where Unity will build the new project. At this stage, we have the choice to import packages of assets we have on our computer. These could be packages that came from the original install, packages from the asset store, or packages that we have saved ourselves. For this assignment, we want a new, clean, empty project, so we won't select any packages to import. Click on Create Project to create this new project. Unity will close the existing project, build the project files, and open the new project in the editor. Now we are ready to go. The next step is to import the assets for this project. Most likely, you will download these from the Learn site and Asset Store. When your import is ready, you will see a window like this one. These are all the files we need for this project. Make sure they are all selected. If not, click the All button in the bottom left. Then select Import to import these assets. The Unity will copy these files to our new project, compile any scripts, and import all of the assets. We will be creating this project from scratch using the assets provided. If, however, you are confused by any step, this project does include a Done folder, which contains the entire project in finished form. There is a Final Scene, Done Main, Final Scripts, Final Prefabs, and more. Now that we have our assets, let's save the scene that we will be working in. When working in Unity, we will always have a scene open. Unity opened a default scene for us when we started the project. Our current scene is unsaved. We get a hint to remind us if our scene has been saved if we read the header bar. The header bar always lists the scene, project name, and build target. Our header bar shows Untitled, which is our unsaved scene, Space Shooter, our current project, and PC, Mac, and Linux standalone, which is our build target. We will discuss build targets in a moment. To save our scene, select File, Save Scene, or use the hotkey combination. Scenes need to be saved in our Assets directory. They can be in any directory within the Assets directory. I'm going to create a new directory to hold my scenes. I will call this new directory underscore scenes. The underscore is not necessary, but I like it, as it will sort this directory to the top of my project view where it will be easy to find. Next, I will name this scene Main, and hit Save to save it. We can see that we now have a directory called underscore scenes and a scene file called Main. We can also see Main as the scene listed in the header bar. Now that we have imported our assets and saved our scene, we need to set our build target. Whenever we are working on a project, we are always working with a build target. Our current build target is the default PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. All of our assets will be imported for this target, and all of our scripts will be compiled for this target. So it's important to have our build settings set to the intended target platform. Don't forget, Unity can have one project and one code base for all of our build targets, and most of what we develop will work for all platforms. But we will be developing for only one platform at a time. To set our build target, we can select File, Build Settings, or use the hotkey combination. This will bring up the Build Settings window. Here we can set the details of our build and select the scenes we want to build into our game. We want to change the build target to Web Player, as we will be building and deploying this project to the web. Click on Web Player to select the Web Player build target. The blue highlight indicates we have selected the Web Player. 
we can see the details on the right change, but we have not changed the build target. Our current build target is indicated by the Unity logo and is shown in the header bar. To change build targets, select the platform you want and click Switch Platform. Now the Unity logo is associated with our new build target, and that new build target is listed in the header. Now that we have set our build target, we need to set the build details for our game. We can do this from the Build Settings window by selecting Player Settings. This allows us to inspect and change our player settings. If we want to change our player settings and the build window is not open, we can select Edit, Project Settings, Player. With Player Settings open in the inspector, we can change both project wide settings and platform specific settings. For more information on player settings, see the details linked below. For this project, we can leave everything at default except resolution. I would like this space shooter game to have the feeling of an upright arcade game, portrait rather than landscape. So let's change the resolution to 600 by 900 so that we can see an accurate representation of our game. Let's make sure that the aspect ratio in the game view is set to web. This will use the 600 by 900 size and aspect ratio. With this size and aspect ratio, however, I do notice that the game view looks cramped and small in its window. I'm not sure this is how I want to view my game as I develop. The solution to this is easy. Change the layout. I'm going to grab the game view tab and drag it up to the top between the scene view and console. This will give me a big, easy to read view of my scene, game, and console. Undoubtedly, you will have a different layout, but be aware that changing the layout is easy. Now that I've changed the layout, let's save it. If we don't save our layouts and we reselect the current layout, our layout will return to the last saved configuration. To save the layout, select Layout and choose Save Layout. Either save over the current layout to update it, or choose a new name for a new layout. I'm going to create a new layout, and I'm going to call it Space Shooter. Now that I've changed my layout, I can return to this one by simply selecting it from the Layout pull-down menu. That's it for setting up this project. Now that we've set up the project, in the next assignment we will set up the main player game object.